manufactured home dealers, contractors, and transporters know that the delivery and setup of each home presents its own unique set of problems. Difficult sites, bad weather, and rough terrain can make it impossible to stay on schedule, which costs time and money. For many years, leading dealers and contractors have relied on the safety, versatility, and ease of the Translift a unique machine designed and fabricated specifically for the manufactured housing industry. It is used for placing and positioning manufactured homes, module homes, and commercial units on site, and also for the actual setup of the unit. The Translift raises and lowers units, as well as moves a unit forwards, backwards, or side to side. It is powerful enough to move a unit by itself and can be easily maneuvered in tight spaces. The Translift can also be transported behind a pickup, eliminating expensive trucks and trailers. The Translift is a job-specific machine with a lifting capacity of 30 tons. The Translift is designed to maneuver and place a unit in a given area, tow a unit for a short distance, and tow a unit on level ground. Pay attention to your level gauge, making necessary adjustments to keep the Translift relatively level at all times. The Translift is not built to tow units on an incline, as it weighs less than 6,000 pounds in comparison to modules that are potentially 60,000 pounds. The Translift will not be able to sustain towing that kind of weight on an incline. Use great care in the operation of the Translift tracks. Take extra care when moving in mud, sand, rock, and general debris. Make sure that you clear your area of operation of any rocks and debris that may cause damage to the Translift. The Translift is hydrostatic, meaning the further you push or pull the controls, the faster it will go. The Translift levers are spring-loaded. If you are pushing forward or pulling backwards and you let go of the controls, the levers will automatically return to neutral and the machine will not move. Push the upper left lever forward to lower the front of the beam. Pull back to lift the front of the beam. Push the upper right lever forward to lower the rear of the beam. Pull back to lift the rear of the beam. Push the lower left lever forward to move the left track forward. Pull back to move the left track backwards. Push the lower right lever forward to move the right track forward. Pull back to move the right track backwards. To move the Translift forward in a straight line, push both lower levers forward. To move backwards in a straight line, pull both levers backwards. To turn right, push the lower left lever forward and pull the right lever back. To turn left, push the lower right lever forward and pull the left lever back. Understanding safety procedures is imperative while operating your Translift. Always be aware that you are dealing with a very powerful hydraulic mechanism. As with all moving equipment, your Translift should be treated with care, good safety practices, and common sense. We encourage you to always practice the triple A's when operating or handling your Translift. Active. Stay engaged in what you're doing. As the operator, you are not only responsible for your own safety, but also the safety of those around you. If you notice a problem, solve it. Attentive. Pay attention. Make sure you are aware of your surroundings and that everything is clear of the unit. Also make sure that you and your coworkers understand hand signals used during operation. Be sure to keep visual contact with the person helping to guide the machine. Alert! Make sure you are not tired or drowsy when operating this machine. Never operate your Translift under the influence of alcohol, drugs, or medication that may impair your senses. Before you head to the job site, be sure to check the engine and hydraulic oil levels. No one wants to get out to the job site and find the oil tank empty. Always be sure you grease your machine before you start your job. There are several grease points that you should be aware of. Be sure to clean your machine at the end of every job to increase the part life of your machine. 
Also make sure you have enough fuel to complete the job required. Do not fill the fuel tank while the engine is running. Check the cooling air intake and air cleaner component. Make sure there is plenty of ventilation in the area you are operating the translift. The fuel shutoff valve should still be in the off position from the last time you used and transported the translift. Turn the fuel shutoff valve to the on position. Now you can turn the ignition key to the on position. The throttle is located on the right side of the engine. You can speed or slow the machine by throttling up and down. The detachable hitch and transport wheel assembly are engineered and designed to provide a fast and simple means for moving the translift from one job site to another. Proper attachment is essential and will ensure safety on the road. Make sure the tow vehicle has an electric brake actuator. Also make sure the vehicle has a 2 and 5 16 inch ball. Check the transportation laws in the areas you will be towing before transportation. The transportation hitch includes safety chains, breakaway switch with pin, locking latch, and safety pin. Always hook up the translift to tow vehicle on level ground. Anytime you are about to engage in attaching or removing items from the translift, the machine should be turned off to avoid injury. Secure the transportation hitch to the translift beam and fasten the safety pin. Drive the translift slowly towards the truck at a low RPM. Set the translift down on the hitch of the truck. Once the translift is connected to the truck, secure the latch in the locked position. Secure safety chains to the truck. The breakaway switch hooks to the truck and plugs into your translift. If the machine separates from the truck, the pin on the breakaway switch will pull out, effectively locking the brakes. The pigtail must be attached to ensure the translift has working brake lights. Wrapping it around the hitch first to avoid dragging. Always check the turn signals and brake lights before leaving the site. Raise and level the rear beam to avoid dragging during transportation and to ensure visibility of the brake lights to other drivers. Make sure you turn off the fuel valve. This will prevent gas from flooding the motor during transportation. Drive slowly, safely, and carefully. You are towing a very valuable and powerful machine. The wheels are very heavy and should never be lifted. To avoid injury or property damage, never attempt to lift them off the ground. Place the pyramid stand underneath the engine compartment. Make sure the tracks are only slightly off the ground and level. Be sure to shut off the engine before inserting or removing the wheels. Never use your back to lift, insert, or remove the wheels. Insert or remove wheel at a level angle. If the tracks are positioned correctly, you should be able to pull the wheel straight out or slide it straight in. Immediately lower tire to ground after removal. Always have the wheel resting on its axle. Balance the wheels on the tires so that you can roll them to the translift. Be sure to keep weight on the wheel itself. This will make insertion easier and avoid having to lift the wheel itself. Make sure all workers are out from underneath the unit and absolutely do not allow anyone below the unit during operation. Never place any body part underneath the translift during operation. Be extra careful to keep your feet out from underneath the main beam, especially when lowering. No riders. Never allow anyone to sit, stand, or ride on the translift during operation or at any other time. Never lift in the middle of the home. This is very dangerous and can cause a bend in the unit frame and or cause the unit to slide endways off the translift. On longer or heavier units, many manufacturers may require removal of an axle so the load can be evenly distributed. If you are unsure exactly where to pick up a unit, 
please refer to Unit Manufacturer's Guidelines. Before operating the translift in reverse, look behind to make sure there are no objects in your path that could potentially trip or pin you. Be sure to have a spotter help guide you as you are operating the translift in reverse mode. Never push or pull unit on sloped or uneven ground, as this action has the potential to cause a runaway load. Lower the beam evenly, making sure it's low enough to clear the unit frame. Watch for plumbing. Always keep feet, hands, and other body parts clear of the beam and the main structure. Do not drag the beam on the ground or scrape on the unit, as this may cause damage to the components below the beam. Proceed slowly and cautiously under the unit, leaving a space between the translift and the frame of the unit. Get it as close to the unit wheels as possible and at near right angles to the unit frame. When in position, place a piece of wood at each end of the beam, parallel to the frame of the unit. This helps distribute weight during lifting and prevent slipping. Once you have lifted the unit, you are free to move the translift as necessary. It's important to always use your level, located on the front frame near the controls, to keep the machine at a constantly maintained level. To move the module sideways, do so very slowly and have an observer watch to provide instruction. Never attempt to turn the translift when the unit is lifted. When moving longer distances, the translift may have to be repositioned on the unit frame to prevent frame binding. When the unit is in the desired location and position, shut off the engine immediately. Never crawl under the unit until the operation is complete. And always shut off the engine when unattended. There are two different ways to pull a unit using your translift, the ball hitch and the beam saddle. Remember to always shut off the engine whenever accessories are being added to the translift. Insert the ball hitch into the end of the translift, making sure the safety pins are securely in place. Lower the ball under the hitch of the unit and secure it in place. You are now free to pull the unit slowly and carefully. When you have a longer unit that is front heavy, the beam saddle allows you to push weight further back on the lifting beam, keeping the translift level. Lower the beam enough to clear the unit and grab the I-beam right behind the front plate. The Translift is a very powerful and versatile machine designed for placing and positioning manufactured homes in a variety of situations. With a lifting capacity of 30 tons, the Translift is capable of lifting and moving virtually any unit by itself, even in difficult locations, rough terrain, and tight spaces. Many advanced safety features have been worked into the design of the Translift. However, it's very important you follow procedures featured in this presentation and the operator's manual to keep yourself and others safe at all times. This includes special care taken when transporting the translift from job sites. As with all moving equipment, your translift should be treated with care, good safety practices, and common sense. Always keep in mind that you are dealing with a very powerful hydraulic mechanism. Proper care and maintenance will keep your Translift operating smoothly and efficiently for many, many years to come.